Hi, this is Mark Pritchard with the uh, second recording showing the Oracle Virtual Assembly Builder product. And what I'm going to do now is to uh, build and deploy um, a, a similar example, but this time using um, Oracle Enterprise Linux as a guest OS. So I have my setup as before. Uh, you can see here's my OVM setup, so logged on to the OVM manager. And for example, here's the JRVE-based um, virtual machine that I built in the previous recording. We'll have a look at this in a minute. And here's this same virtual box environment exactly as before. I've got WebLogic Server running, so I can just drop that down. A um, couple of things we will need to do first is need to um, copy in the OEL base image that we're going to use. We can use this is the one that you can uh, download from OTM when you download Assembly Builder. Uh, part of the package you'll see you get the assembly builder install and you also get the but two base images for JRVE and OEL. I didn't copy this one in for size but we, we will want to do that and I also have um, in this directory I've put the um, the juice um, RPM so we're going to use so the one to create templates and to modify them. So we're going to basically uh, import those into the image and the easiest way if you're not familiar with this is just to use a, a shared folder. So um, what I can do is I can create a shared folder here. I'll just pick up that path there, pop that down, put that in there. I'm just going to call it OVAB and that'll create a shared folder that I can then mount in here. So a couple of things I want to do uh, what I'll do first of all is we'll just go to slash labs, and there we are, and base image is where we're going to want to install this. So let me see the OVM, and then uh, I can mount that drive by going mount minus T VBOX SF, and the short name was OVAB and I can just put that onto to slash mount. There we go. So now if I do that, you can see all the files that we want. And the OEL base image dot zip is the one that I want to, to unzip. Um, so I can do that right now. Uh, unzip slash mount OEL base image dot zip and I'm just going to unzip that into this directory and uh, there is a, a vm.cfg but we need the full thing with the system.img as well. So I will agree to overwrite everything and I'll just let that uh, unzip now and I'll pause this for a second because that will take uh, a little while to do. Okay so we're done uh, with that and the uh, other thing that I want to do, let's just is to install the juice stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if I did this in the VM that I distributed, so let's just check that. So if I go in here, you can see there the two um, RPMs we need for the juice stuff. So again, I can do sudo RPM minus IVH OVM. There we go. That one's already installed, that's good. And again, I can do sudo rpm minus ivh ovm template this time. And again, that's done, so that looks like we're good. And I'll just go to assembly builder home now. And one of the things you will need to do to actually run those uh, commands is you'll need to have the root permissions. So one of the things you want to do before you start assembly builder is just to run uh, root.sh and that's all good. So now I can close that. I've got WIS running and I'm going to start assembly builder. I can pop that window down and then we can do the introspection, packaging, and deployment. So I'll just uh, wait for Assembly Builder to come up here. And again, I'm going to pause the screen to save time, and um, we'll come back in a second.
Okay, so here's my um, Assembly Builder Studio setup as before, and you can see I've got the uh, OVM connection there with the, the pool and so on. And so let's go straight ahead and we'll do the introspection and so on. So first of all, let me create an assembly. Uh, you could use your existing one and just create a new deployment plan, but I'll show you this from scratch. So again, I'm going to create a new assembly here called Obey. There we go. So again, this, you remember the steps from before. I'm going to define an external resource. This will be a JDBC resource, and I'll call this ObeyDB. I can pop that in there while I'm at it. Uh, I can go to the property um, inspector here. So let's have the host name, which is dadvmh0076.us.oracle.com. There we go. Let's pull this over a little bit so we can see a bit more of what's going on. That's fine. We don't need to change anything here. We just need that host name to be changed. Let me save that. And then I want to come in here, and I'm going to create a I'm going to do a new component introspection. So I'm going to call this Obey WLS. And we'll call this Obey. Obey will be the parent assembly again. Get rid of that. I'm going to do this on the local host. And the type is WebLogic Server. So here we go again. Labs WLS 1032. WL server 10.3 and this next one will be labs uh, WLS 1.0.3.2 user projects domains and again this one is called auction dev exactly the same as before I'm going to be using web logic with the password welcome one so there we go. I can go ahead and I can do my introspection. Remember, I've got WebLogic Server running here in the background. So let's see the messages here. And we'll just wait for the introspection to finish here. This won't take very long. Since this is done, we can uh, update the properties for the Obey WLS component, and I can then wire up the Obey WLS WebLogic Server component with the uh, external JVC resource. So there we go. The introspection's completed there. So let me open up the assembly. Here we go. So there's my external resource, which is fine. I've got the host name there. Let me now just have a look at the properties for um, my WebLogic server here and the admin server. Let me pull this down a bit, actually, because we don't need this much. So I can come down here. And in fact, I'm going to pull this across because we do want to see the property details. So I'm going to use an, an OEL template. That's all fine. Um, everything else at this point is good. We'll put in more when we come to do the deployment plan. And one of the things I do want to do on here is to put in the username and password for the JDBC data source. So this is FOD and Fusion, all uppercase. And I can save those. And then what I want to do is I want to wire this to uh, this one. So I can pick this up and I can drag and drop that there. So I've now connected up that JDBC data source to the external database up there. And in fact, I can pop that down. We're not going to need that window at all. So there we are. I've got my WebLogic server appliance with the admin server there. I've got my external database, ObeyDB, and uh, I'm now going to create a uh, deployment plan. 
and uh, I'm going to call this obey OEL. You remember I have one for obey VE. Well, I'm going to create a, an obey OEL one now. 